Hello, Lola. Welcome back to my channel, guys. If, guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and make sure that you click the subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And don't forget to drop down and click the link to be a part of the chatterbox. It is a dollar and 99 cents to join. And you do have to be at least 18 years old to join that um, group there. Anyway, so moving right along. Oh yeah, follow me on Instagram. It's the same as here, Miss Renity Smith. Um, also follow my blog. It's MissRenitySmithBabies.com. And um, yeah, other than that, let's get into it. So you guys are watching Baby Noah. And we're going to get him out of this Christmas stuff. Because, you know, Christmas is gone. New Year's is here. And we just want to get him dressed. I've been meaning to give him a bath, but I just haven't had just haven't took the time to do that um so for those of you that may be new to my channel and don't know who Noah is Noah is the uh, Willow Asleep Sculpt by Claire Teller he is the prototype number two um so which means he was sculpted painted poured and rooted um by Claire Teller herself and sometimes I pretty much just keep him to myself lately and he's usually just in his bed in my room he does have a spot in my room and he stays in there and I just enjoy him I, I don't pick him up as much as I used to but occasionally I walk over and pick him up but a lot of times I just like seeing him there just knowing that he's there is you know so it's nice um he is he does have the you know the elbow armatures and he has a drinking wet and yeah he is um like I said he is just my my sleeping boy I love sleepers and um, I am drawn to awake babies but at the end of the day the sleepers is what usually really really steals my heart um, I mean they usually look, stay with me longer I don't know why I don't seem to get as bored of them as quick as I do um, some of the awake babies now he's feeling really he's feeling a little clammy um and stuff is sticking to him a little bit but it's cold in this room now he isn't as cold as his room is um because he wasn't in here but it's cold you know period you know his hair hasn't been he's been wearing his hat and that's been brushed but it, so sometime i found with the silicone when it's cold the weather is cold they will feel a little clammy but that changes once the you know they warm up and everything which is so crazy i don't know why that is or what what that's about but i I've, I've experienced it with more than one um silicone baby um you know and when you're dressing your babies try not to drag the clothes across the baby's face and stuff like that um it just protects their their paint protects their um you know eyelashes and stuff like that i just you know even with a real baby i wouldn't drag it across their face because you know they take those big gulps of air like <gasps> you know like you like you're trying to suffocate them poor little things um like my grandbaby absolutely hate when you take the clothes over her face so but anyway, I'll show him a little bit. So he is one of, he was one of three prototypes and 15, um, 15 kits. And I wish like heck that I would have gotten another blank kit. But um, he is the soft silicone blend which means he's not Eagle Flex 20, he's not Eagle Flex 30, Eagle Flex 10. He's just a soft blend that is made up, a formula that is made up by Claire Teller. 
um, each sculptor pour how their own formula mix and their calculations of how they mix it, child. I don't know. Who ain't a scientist is me. Who don't care is me. <laughs> I just want them to feel nice. And um, so he's very, very soft. And what I was saying the other day, someone was asking about the jointed, jointed um, necks versus the... Um, the uh poor to one piece now i'll be honest with you guys if it's a baby that's already um if it's a baby that's already been out for a while and they have a jointed neck i'm good with it especially if the neck is one of the ones that don't show like a gap in between and stuff and you it's easily you know displayed and shown without it showing that it's separated from the body but the ultimate realism in a full body silicone is all in one piece. Um, to be honest, at this point in my collecting, I probably wouldn't buy another, not a brand new sculpt. If it's an existing sculpt, one that I've wanted for a while, yeah, I would I would definitely still go for a, um, a jointed, you know, neck because, you know, that's what it come in. But... So I won't say I won't never buy one, but to go into a new edition at what silicone costs today in today's climate, nah, sis, you're not going to get me to pay over six grand for a joining neck at this point. It's got to be poured in one piece. And what I, the thing that I, what bothers me sometime well not bothers me but part that makes it so hard and difficult for me to shop for a silicone baby even when it's poured in one piece is because a lot of the a lot of the artists see how easy his head turns and it's you know comfortable you know it's not in a strain or anything that but the problem for me is when you see these babies, they don't show the movement of the dolls. And so you can't really see because just because it's got one piece and, you know, and it's soft silicone and the neck turns doesn't mean it's going to have any type of real movement or flop to it or turn as nice because um, sometimes the head is like this short to the neck, to, you know, to the body. And when it's, you know, scrunched in like that, I mean, there's not much room for it to turn and the head don't really fall. And, you know, a lot of people be like, oh, I don't want it to fall. And this, he has a cute little bump on too. Um, I don't, you know, I don't, I want support in the head and all that. Child, let my baby head bobble, wobble, wobble, wobble to the bobble, just the wobble, to wobble. I, I want it to wobble. I want to have to catch it, you know, because I, I think that's more realistic than it just being stiff. And you do like this and the baby head just barely move I don't I don't you know see if I now I think some of uh, some babies have more support than others <laughs> look at you I'm ready fit for whip look at you look at mama I got all that fuzzy on your face <laughs> if fuzzy was it was a bell certain blankets I didn't realize this was one of them certain blankets <laughs> the fuzzies come off on it on them more than others now that is definitely a thing with silicone now I could have laid him on another blanket and I might just take him off of this blanket and put him on because this is gonna get on my nerves see his his other the other pieces up under there <laughs> Let's see what you look like on it. Cause that's there we go. Yeah, cause that that's annoying. I'm not finna be dealing with all that fuzzy cause the whole video will be me picking off. But anyway, so yeah. And so, you know. I like 
the super soft i know people be like i don't want it too soft i don't want it to now i don't want it noodly soft um phoebe is softer than them and she's right at the cuff like um but i love the level of softness this is because i like that i can pose him in different ways and stuff but phoebe is a little bit softer so her little legs will close even more and stuff like that so it you know i like it I love, I love the soft silicone. Like I said, I am destined to find me a girl baby, newborn. I would like it to be a little bit smaller than him, but he's still newborny. I kind of want to, um, I really prefer a sleeper, but, you know, like I said, I, I will take an awake with the right sculpt. It have to be like a really super duper sculpt that I really, really love. Cause I, I know that I'm drawn to more to the, um, the asleep. Oh, okay, I'm just checking. It's just a paint thing. Um, try not to show his boy bits, but pull his diaper down. But yeah, um, yeah, I know at the end of the day, I'm more of a sleeper girl. And, you know, when you, when you gotta spend this money, and a lot of people act like, you know, a thousand, two thousand dollars isn't a lot, but it is a lot because when you, when you go into Walmart, and Target, which I ain't buying no Walmart and Target babies now. I've been past that stage. But still, um, you know, in reality, an expensive doll is $200. So just to think, a blank kit and you're not even getting paint on it or a painted one, you know, a thousand, two thousand dollars that's a lot of money. And so I want to get what I want for it. So... It's been hard, been very hard because I am really craving a new silicone girl. And I don't know if it's more because I just want to paint a new baby, a girl, you know, a silicone baby for myself because I want to experiment or if it's because I truly just want the girl. But I don't know when I get through painting it if I'm just feel relieved and want to move on or not. But, you know... It's been hard because I'm like, well, I could just buy that one and do this and do that. And I'm like, no, 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 no. That's what you always do. You go crazy. And then especially like right now is the hardest time for me because y'all know. Um, I'm just being honest with y'all. Y'all know, y'all know, because some of y'all don't like me for this reason. And some of y'all call me stands and some of y'all call me this and that. And treat me like crap because my favorite, one of my favorite artists and sculptors is Clotella and she has a baby out. And it's been hard watching that baby. But I know what I can afford. And I'm just trying my hardest to be disciplined not to be like, oh, let me sell this baby or that baby. Because... You know, when you sell the baby, like I've I've been in love with the Willow Sculpt since um they first came out, obviously. And it's it's still my favorite sculpt to the day, to date. Like it's still my favorite sculpt. Everything about the Willow Sculpt I absolutely love. There's nothing that I would change about the Willow Sculpt. So for me to decide to get rid of like Noah or, you know, Phoebe or something like that to bring home another baby would be kind of insane because I've been down that road before. And so I haven't even thought about selling Noah, to be honest. I haven't. But I was like, dang, can I just sell my whole collection? Everybody is up Noah and Phoebe. Maybe I can make it, you know. Mm -mm. I just can't do it no more. 
I'm just, I just gotta be strong and be disciplined because that, that's, it's really not worth it in the end of the day. I mean, what is a collector if all you do is buy and sell? And I'm talking about myself. I'm not talking about anybody else. I'm talking about myself because this is basically what I had became. I used to just collect, but then, you know, when I, before my grandmother passed, um, my paternal grandmother, I was at her house and I was looking around and she had dolls and I didn't realize, I guess because I was small when I used to go to her house when I was little, I didn't realize that she collected dolls too. But when I look around, she got dolls from years ago and from this year and that year and 19 this and 1772. <laughs> If, when I get older and I look back, am I going to even have a piece of my collecting history to share with my grandchildren and, you know, children and say, I remember when I got this all? No, because I'll be done bought and sold all of them and probably end up with one little doll. So, I don't know if any because then I'll get frustrated at some point and probably just stop collecting all together who knows but I don't I, I want to do different all right so this is zero to three months these are newborn I I don't you know some shoes just come like that these say newborn these say zero to three I want to say these is going to be too too little I want to say these are more going to be like for major I mean yeah it would fit his feet but I don't know that I want to, let me see. See, I have a problem with shoes. I don't like the whole rubbing friction. I don't like the whole, um, sorry, my alarm is going off. I don't like the whole rubbing thing. I don't like the whole, um, trying to squeeze them on type thing. So if it don't just slide on then it's a no for me so let me see because his feet they're good size but they're not like huge so this says newborn i want to say he would fit zero three but i think this is more his size it's just me wanting to get and this foot is like a ball foot a little bit so it's even harder so let me let me try this foot over here and then we'll work on it. We'll work on the other one. So yeah. So like these would definitely fit major, like really nice. Yeah, see I don't I don't I don't like doing that. Let's see about this foot. I ain't even looked at um how much time I got on here. Oh child, that's a long video. Oh well, y'all haven't seen Noah in a long time, so hopefully. Y'all enjoy the time with him. Let me see what this one looks like. I think this one will slide right on because it's pretty big. Yeah. See, that's more, <laughs> that's more of my style. I like, I'm sorry. I know the smaller one might look cuter on his feet. I don't know. Yeah, these might look too big. I don't know. I think that one look a little too big. I think I'll have to work with these. Sorry. I don't want to. Let me just stretch it out. All right. Maybe I shouldn't have put them on no sock. But... Because it's white in the inside, but I do see he could have technically worn these without sock. And because the silicone is soft, it makes it even more challenging. If his feet were vinyl, it would be so much easier to get it in there. Let me see. I'll just be feeling for the toes. Like, are we serious?
So I basically took my feet, finger and got it, got it, um, his foot down in the shoe. So yeah, this, this fit better. So see, it's on his foot. So I will have to do the same thing for this one. I basically took my finger and pushed it all the way to the tip of that shoe and got it his foot down in there. You know, like people use a spoon or a thing. Just like a real baby, he got this foot bald. And they always do that. They always fall one of their feet up when you're trying to put their shoes on. But yeah. So. I was about to call him Major. That's Noah. So he got on his little. I just thought these would be cute on him. I didn't buy it for this. I've, I've had this outfit since way puck time. But I just. I bought these shoes because I bought one for King, Kingsley and one for Major. I didn't even think about Noah at the time when I bought them. But hey, that's who wearing them. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching him. Whew, he do look a little much a little bit darker or more red or something, I think, in this video, but y'all get the point. I will take photos of him in just a second. So hop over to Instagram. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.